welcoming new details tonight about the alleged sexual harassment by former Everett Public School Superintendent Fred Forrestair. Court paperwork is spelling out the accusations. The accusers say Forrestair followed them around, pinned them up against the walls, and forcibly touched them. WBZ's Christina Rex broke the story. She joins us live in Everett tonight with the new details. Christina? Lisa and David, the details in this court paperwork are graphic, but they're all details that Fred Forrestair denies. Everett's former superintendent walking into court flanked by supporters to face five charges of indecent assault and battery. Wait a reading at your plea, not guilty, Your Honor. Fred Forrestair pleaded not guilty. A 14 page police report details years of an alleged culture of secrecy in the public school system. Four former employees claim he harassed and assaulted them and say they didn't initially report it because they feared losing their jobs or retaliation against their kids at school. My clients are some of the strongest women that I have ever met in my entire life. Attorney Mark Rotundo represents two of the accusers in the criminal case. According to court paperwork, one woman told investigators Forest Air said the school administration building was, quote, like Las Vegas. What happens here stays here. The allegations are grotesque. The superintendent of 30 years retired in December once harassment allegations became public. Another woman told detectives Forrest Air, quote, took hold of the zipper of her sweat jacket and unzipped it. She stated that he then moved closer to her and began kissing her neck and breasts. Do you still say you're innocent? Forrest Air didn't answer questions after his arraignment, but to date has maintained that he's innocent of all charges. Mark Rotundo believes the trial evidence will speak for itself. Mr. Forrester, as he's known throughout the district, is a person who was revered by many. I counted him as a friend. And to learn now, 20 years later, the things that he has been accused of completely makes my stomach turn. And the interim superintendent and other school administrators were also interviewed by detectives according to that court paperwork. We did reach out to them for a comment but did not hear back. Forrester will be back in court on August 8th. Live in Everett, Christina Rex, WBZ News.